was in the 1980s that Freiburg in Breisgau in Germany decided it was going to become a green city. The driving force then was not climate change, but the desire to avoid the use of nuclear power. But Freiburg's success in reducing energy use and investing in alternative energy has brought the city to the centre of the emissions debate. The first thing you'll notice is the number of bicycles. There are thousands of them, twice as many bikes as there are cars. Transport is one of the strategies that Freiburg has used to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 20%. Public transport, as well as bicycles, account for the majority of locals' journeys. It's an important part of Freiburg's emission reduction plan. Another is the way the city generates heat and electricity. We have a very important energy um, supply plan, including uh, saving energy, including renewable energies, with a lot of measures to implement uh, windmills, PV cells, um, biomass plants and so on. And the third um, focal point is co-generation. We um, realized uh, and constructed about 140 co-generation plants in Freiburg. They are producing 50% uh, of the demand of the power of all the city with a high efficiency of about 80 to 90%. And all this together led to a reduction of CO2 in the moment of 20% per capita. As any engineer will tell you, we waste as much as a third of our energy by letting it just escape into the atmosphere. So heat efficiency is another strategy that the city uses to reduce its energy needs. Josef Adrian is an architect who specialises in the reduction of energy requirements in buildings. He's been to this apartment block before. He designed it in 1968. Now he's back, fitting it with heat exchangers, triple glazing and insulation, including a remarkable new material called Aerogel. It feels like wool. Yeah. It's a very, very high isolation. Oh. Not produced, not, not uh, installation in any German building. It's the oh, first time we do it here. Right. We prove it, we test it. Okay. Aerogel is derived from a gel in which the liquid component of the gel has been replaced with a gas. Using Aerogel, heat exchangers, and by making the building airtight, the energy requirements of the building will be reduced by 78%. And it's waterproof. Aerogel, but it's water resistant. It's no resistant. In Vauban, a suburb of Freiburg, many of the houses are described as zero energy, which means they produce the same amount of power as they use. Insulation reduces the energy needs and solar panels help provide the power. Solar panels are something of an architectural feature in Freiburg. You see them everywhere, on city high-rises and, of course, on suburban housing. Solar power is so widespread that the city has encouraged the solar industry to spring up. Rian van Staden has an office in Freiburg's Solar Information Centre. He specialises in providing energy market intelligence as well as advising cities on how to reduce their CO2 emissions. He took us up on the roof of the Solar Information Centre, which, as you might have guessed, is covered in solar panels. You help cities plan for the future. How's that going? Uh, where we still have quite a challenge is making sure that cities are aware of the fact that they need to plan to have a clean and secure energy future. And uh, that's a big part of the job, is convincing cities that it's necessary to take the time, the effort, to engage uh, in a comprehensive city-wide planning activity to make sure that um, the, the energy supplies of tomorrow and the day after are there, available, and can drive their economies. It's the determination to make energy efficiency and the reduction of greenhouse gases pay that is at the heart of Freiburg's success. Far from being an alternative city, Freiburg is firmly planted in the modern world with a thriving economy. In the town hall square, we had coffee with Freiburg's mayor, Dr Dieter Salomon. They said that ecology costs a lot of money and in economy you have to earn money and... Um... If you have too much ecology in economy, you won't earn money anymore. But uh, this is the past. Today, in Freiburg, we earn money with uh, both uh, economy with ecology. When you when you start renewable energy, uh, 
you start solar, wind, biomass, they, they, they make jobs, good jobs, uh, and not jobs uh, for the global world, but jobs for here, uh, for Freiburg. And uh, we have a lot of jobs in, uh, in ecology. It's the main part of our economy today. We have to change our way of living. It's a Western way of living, it's a very comfortable way of living, but it's also a way of wasting a lot of resources. We have to get smarter. So, is Freiburg a model of how cities should be in 20 years? The city has achieved a 20% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Its aim is a 50% reduction. It's hard to imagine Shanghai or Seoul doing what Freiburg has done, but perhaps, for the moment, we lack the vision.